The year is 2023, and you'll be too soon. This is where you sleep, these are your friends, this is your favorite book, and this is what I know now. I grew up in the countryside of England, raised by my loving parents. When I reflect back, I'm so grateful to have lived a life full of adventure. And now I'm a father, I think about my younger self. What advice would I give him so I can pass these lessons on to my son? So back when I was at school, I remember I wasn't exactly the coolest kid. And I think I knew that because I was so obsessed with craving validation from others. I would do anything to please people. I would let them win in games. I would offer them my pocket money. I would ask strangers to be my best friend. And this desperation never seemed to work. And it wasn't until I let go of that, became my authentic self. And I found that I was the funny guy. I made people feel comfortable around me. And I found my place, which gave me that confidence. We often find ourselves yearning for acceptance and validation from those around us. But the problem with that, if we seek validation from others, from likes, comments, follows, whatever it is, then we don't own our own self-worth. It belongs to other people. Other people are in control about how we feel about ourselves. So what I now know, when you become your true authentic self, let go of what other people think, you become a magnet to others. So buddy, all I ask you, find what you love, share that, just shine, and you'll be fine. So son, this lesson is something that will make more sense as time goes on. And this is something that has helped me navigate my way through life with so much ease. And that is stay in your own lane. You see, life can sometimes feel like a busy highway. Everyone is rushing to their destinations. You have so many different energies, fancy cars, all these different distractions that are trying to take you out of your own lane, trying to take you away from being present. And that is the whole of life. There will always be something trying to take you away from being yourself. You see, son, we often go to great lengths to impress other people. But the more you try to please others, the less you become of yourself. As Carl Jung said, the privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. When you're young, you really care what other people think. Then you get a bit older and you stop caring what people think. Then you get even older and realize no one was actually ever thinking about you in the first place. So son, all I tell you, just be yourself. Don't be judgmental, be curious, and just stay in your own lane. Right, I need a coffee. Hello, my love, how you doing? I'm just gonna get a black coffee, please, for you have a good one, appreciate you. So I used to actually always think that prioritizing self-love was self-centered, but then I learned you have to be selfish to be selfless. You have to learn to find compassion for yourself so you can find compassion for other people. You have to learn to love your strengths and accept your flaws and love you just as you are, and then you can love others as they are. You see, in life, our self-love is often shaped by the people around us, how our parents speak to us, our community, our society, and this can make us feel alone. But it's when someone is able to show compassion, that's when we feel connected and loved. And it's when we feel loved, we share it, and through that, we become a magnet to others. In life, you're going to feel a lot of emotions. You're going to feel pain. You're going to feel suffering. You're going to feel sadness. And that's okay. I want you to know that's okay because we live in a world where there is sadness. There is suffering all around us. So we have to learn to find tools to help us cope with that, to help us find calm in the chaos. And one beautiful way for that is therapy. And look, I get what it's like. The last thing we want to do now is leave the house to do something we do want to do, let alone to go be open and vulnerable with a stranger we don't know. So now we have a wonderful solution and that is BetterHelp. Who are sponsoring this video? And BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist that much easier because it's 100% online. So look, if you're going through a tough time, anxiety, depression, whatever it is, I think speaking to someone is such a beautiful way to help yourself heal. So you've got to ask yourself this one question. Is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And it's so easy to get started. You just answer a few questions about your needs. That way, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few 
few days. And if you don't like your therapist, you can easily switch for free without any stress. There's not often in life we have someone that is actively listening to us and it's not until we speak about our problems, open up about our feelings, that's when we learn truly how we feel, what's going on in there. So if you guys are interested, click the link in my description for 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com forward slash Jolliffe. That's better, H-E-L-P. So my favorite thing about you, Lennon, is how much energy you have. The thing is, buddy, daddy has a lot of energy as well. I always had, just like you, and that's a wonderful thing. The only downside is hard to stop, slow down, and appreciate the small joys in life. And that's where gratitude comes in, appreciating the small moments, appreciating the endless abundance of beautiful supplies in a grocery store. And the beauty is you can find gratitude in almost any situation. If someone makes you angry, find gratitude that they're teaching you patience. And what I now know, in life you get what you give. If you give kindness, you receive kindness. If you give hate, you receive hate. It really is that simple. So I used to think that happiness resided in external things, a fancy car, a nice job, and I chased after these illusions thinking they would bring me this joy. But oh, how wrong I was. Breaking news, stay at home. Back in 2020, we had a worldwide pandemic, COVID-19. It was a time most of us want to forget, but there were some powerful lessons that came out of it. The thing is, it did take away my exterior adventure, the things that I thought brought me joy, traveling, being at a different place on a different day, and I was forced to go within and learn that happiness is purely a state of mind. It doesn't matter where you are out there, it matters where you are in there, and that's the only place that really truly matters because that's where you are the whole time, right? And learning about myself, what brings me energy, what drains my energy, is such a powerful way to know what serves you and how to get through the day in your best possible state of mind. So let me just show you. This glass of water resembles a negative experience. Someone has said something you don't like and they put you in that negative maze of self-doubt. Now, it's not always the experience that's the issue, but how long we hold onto it. So like this glass of water, if I hold it for 10 minutes, I'm gonna get a dull ache in my arm. An hour, my arm's gonna be quite painful. A day, the weight is gonna be so unbearable, I can't think of anything else. And just like our emotions, just like these issues we have, so often we get caught in that maze of self-doubt, the weight becomes unbearable, and that's all we can think about. So what we have to do is learn to let it go. Not literally, but metaphorically, you've got nice carpets. Learning to take control of my breath has been one of the most profound lessons I've learned. Because when you gain control of your breath, you take control of your emotions. It brings you into the present moment so you can decide how to respond and not be so reactive. When we have anxiety, when we learn that our breath is fast, when our breath is fast, that tells our heartbeat to go fast. When our heartbeat goes fast, it tells the brain panic, there's predators and we get in this loop. So when we learn to take control of our breath, take a deep, calm, slow breath that literally calms the heartbeat. It tells the body to relax and we're gonna be okay. Now let's take a deep breath in bringing in peace and calm. And as we exhale, let go of any distractions that may arise. That's why I took some time off YouTube as well to become a breathwork instructor because I learned the healing transformative benefits that brought people. And this is such a beautiful tool to bring people together, get them into such a beautiful conscious place so they can be their best selves. We live in a world crying out for human connection a safe space for us to be open with each other, to grow together, to learn together, to heal together, to remind each other we're not alone, to teach the power of self-love and the value of community. I've been very blessed in my life. I've got to travel the corners of the world with my best friends. And I saw how music created community and community created unity to bring us together. And when I look back at that whole band life experience, I see so much community with the same five guys spending every living second together and that taught us so much. It helped us pick each other up in our tough times. It helped us celebrate together in our good times and to learn that life is so much more enriching when it's shared. And now that I live in America, my time with my family, with my friends of over 30 years, it makes me really cherish that time I do have with them now because time is more valuable. So what I know now, life, yeah. is worth showing together. It's about the simple moments. 
right in front of us. And it's going towards fear so we can come up stronger. So I ask you, Lennon, never stop being playful. Just their heads remain. Be curious and appreciate what's in front of you. Oh, I'm going to take it home to England. So I remember it. But all I really ask of you, Lennon, is just to be you. Bye-bye. Thanks for the first day of mine.